Hulu? Nah. Netflix? See ya. Right stuff? Yes. Now that's the stuff. And we're not talking about Hostess! What's up guys, this is Venge here bringing you another Right Stuff Anime Unboxing Review. But before we do that, I have to give a huge shout out to Right Stuff Anime for bringing this great series my way. This Gundam series is known as Mobile Suit Gundam, the 8th MS Team. So let's begin with the visual presentation here. I love the cover art of this one because there's no flashy background along with a clean rendered PNG file of the character or characters. It's just the highly detailed image of the leader's Gundam with a lot of battle damage and you could see all the cool detail that they added here like the damaged armor, dirt all over it, deep cuts, really cool detail here. Then you also see that the Gundam is in a dense jungle, which definitely gives you an idea of the kind of environment you will most likely see most of the time. Kind of gives you a sense that there's going to be a lot of guerrilla warfare tactics going on, like battle on the ground, things of that nature. Um, so, if you're a bit tired of space combat, this is definitely the right series for you to watch. The title logo follows a more militaristic style font, which I feel suits this Gundam series very well. And as you move to the spinal portion here, there's something I want to point out. You see clean font of the title as well as a nice thumbnail of the lead mobile suit. But it seems as though the dark background conflicts with the black font of the title. However, the white stroke around the dark font, it helps make it more visible, especially when you're looking at it up close. Figured that I would point that out here. As you move over to the back, you have the title logo at the top looking far more visible due to the green trees placed behind it. The trees really does help make the logo stand out a bit more when compared to the spinal part of the cover. And I also love the clean thumbnails in print as well. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to read what we have here on the back. Well, technically I'm going to read it for you. So, a new Xeon Menace. The year is Universal Century 0079. The Federation has begun mass production of prototype Gundams for use by its ground forces. Shiro Amada, commander of the 8th MS team, must lead the soldiers through fierce fighting on the ground. However, the Xeons are developing a secret project which could tip the balance of power. Can Shiro and his ragtag team of castoffs, rejects, and bad attitudes save the Federation? And so, let's look at the bottom here. We have a list of all the episodes, so this gives you an idea that this series is definitely short and sweet. But the awesome thing about this is you get everything, plus a movie. So let me go ahead and read what you get here. So you get a total of 12 episodes containing all 12 episodes of the 8th MS Team OVA series and the 8th MS Team movie Miller's Report. Also includes animation short, battle in the three dimensions, clean opening, clean ending, special animation clip, and promo. Um, so, there's some also a little extra that I want to provide for you guys uh, for the video. For those of you that really prefers the best quality you can get, you're definitely going to get 1080p high definition as well as 4 to 3 aspect ratio. There's also English subtitles as well as English dub plus Japanese dub as well. 
So, like I was, like I said previously, an awesome thing about this set is they give you the entire series. You don't have to buy, you know, all the episodes on one disc and then turn around and buy the actual movie of this series. You get everything all in one, the right stuff, let's go. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna go ahead and look at what's inside here. And so there, you know, unfortunately there isn't any kind of special, you know, like art to display, you know, like art that you usually find behind the discs. There isn't that, but the great thing about this set is you do have the entire set in a, you know, all in one package, which I just mentioned. And so you have very beautiful and clean disc cover art. So here's disc one. Uh, very detailed art. I just love the detail that they do. And here's disc two. So disc one and disc two is the entire television series or OVA series, however you want to describe it or however you want to call it. Then this disc is actually the movie um, the Ape MS Team Miller's Report. So you get everything. Total package, right stuff. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the series itself. The fact that you are still watching this video gives me the impression that you're interested in the Mobile Suit Gundam, the Ape MS Team Blu-ray. So be sure to check out the right stuff for the right price by using the link in the description section below. Mobile Suit Gundam the 8th MS Team is all about a team that has suffered many losses that always ended in the loss of a commander, either by death or rage quit. However, the 8th MS Team Brown Forces new commander, Shiro Amada, seems to have a way of uplifting the spirits of a team that others believe to be cursed. I really like this angle because it adds a sense of realism. The loss of morale, especially in war, can severely cripple a team's ability to succeed. Shiro Amada definitely seems to have the answer to the prayers of a team hurting for a decent leader. However, Shiro's encounter with a female Xeon pilot, Xeon being the enemy of the Federation, forces could potentially drag the recovering team back into misfortune. Don't want to spoil too much, so I would say this, women can be trouble. I mean, I, let's be real here, a good woman is definitely a man's desire, however that desire can sometimes create problems. And the movie that comes with this set will go into more detail about what I just discussed. Therefore, I highly recommend watching the entire series first before going into the movie. I love the interactions between the characters of the 8th MS team and their new leader. Their first encounter wasn't all peaches and cream, however as time passed, Shiro's determination began to sway the opinions of the 8th MS team. It was really fun to watch due to great English voice acting and realistic interactions between characters. The team had an enjoyable sense of humor, feelings of doubt and excitement occurred at the proper times. The new leader was not some invincible warrior that just bodied everyone and swayed and wooed the crowd easily. I mean, it was more of a struggle for Shiro. And the conflicting moral decisions really brought out the realness of the series. The music is very fitting for every situation as well. And watching this series on Blu-ray is downright amazing. I mean, the series really aged well in terms of visual quality. And those of you who loves that 1080p 4 to 3 aspect ratio, rejoice! Because it's here. I'm telling you, 
watching it on TV and watching it on DVD really doesn't give this series justice. Seeing it in Blu-ray blew my mind because of how detailed and beautiful the series actually looks. I mean, if I was to compare it to anime today, it fits in very well. Oh, beautiful. The right stuff. I gotta warn you, though. This series has some pretty heavy fan service, so I wouldn't recommend this to the younger crowd. Scattered throughout the series, you get some pretty out there scenes that would make Master Roshi be like, eh, 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 eh. All right, let me, let me chill. <laughs> let me stop right there. Plus, there was also a moment where this meme fits perfectly. Cue the clip. Or should I say cute audio? FBI, open up! For instance, in the end credits, I would just say this. Magazine. This series was part of a well-known anime television programming block on Cartoon Network called Toonami. And yes, they made sure to cut that part out of the ending credits. They, they made sure to do that. They was like, they don't want no trouble. <laughs> so, remember, this series should be watched by adults, preferably. Um, so, I had a ton of fun watching this because it brought back some nostalgia of my viewing of this series on Toonami back when I was in high school. And let me reiterate, too. When I say adults this is an uncut version whereas in Toonami you know all of the uh, fan service parts that I was talking about Toonami made sure to have all of that cut so you know it was more appropriate for younger individuals back then but when it comes to this blu-ray it's uncut nothing censored so I'm gonna give Mobile Suit Gundam the 8th MS team a solid 10 she rolls out of 10 because the quality for something pretty old and dated was very impressive. Audio was clean, visuals was clean, nothing was dirty. I mean, minus the fan service. Uh, but it's very, it's very clean and impressive. <laughs> I'm gonna chill. So remember, if you want the right stuff, then go to rightstuffanime.com by clicking on the link in the description section below. Thanks for watching and be blessed.